Felipe Bandeira de Melo. I'm the Minister Counselor from the Embassy of Brazil in South Africa. It's a pleasure to be here at UJ Gallery in this amazing exhibition, this amazing space of uh, pictures from uh, Rodrigo Petrella from a, 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 a Brazilian indigenous tribe, the Kayapos. I think what is really interesting about this is um, it is a, a, a cultural collaboration with uh, the Embassy of Brazil, uh, thanks to the work of Rodrigo Petrella. Thank you, thank you. Um, so amazing to be here this night. And I know it's very bad when an artist starts to talk about his work. It feels like he's bragging about himself. So um, Saturday we're going to have this uh, walk around and we can discuss better. This um, project is a result of uh, a cooperation that uh, the Embassy of Brazil has just begun with the University of Johannesburg and the uh, UJ Art Gallery. We are sure that this is a project that will be very fruitful and enduring and uh, many other projects will come as an opportunity for us Brazilian um, diplomats and Brazilian people to show you South Africans a bit of our country. Um, and of course that notion of collaboration as I've just been discussing with the Minister Council and his colleagues is really fundamental to what we want to be doing as a university. The more we can collaborate with people from outside, the more we can inform our own practice, the more we can expand our own minds and our own ideas. And of course, when we can do this with international partners, that's even more important. And because once again, I think it's so important that we give our students the possibility to engage in conversation outside of uh, their, their own circles. There are today 274 indigenous languages in Brazil. These languages come from 12 different language families. There are more than 200 tribes in Brazil. And the estimated indigenous population in Brazil, some already living in urban areas, is of about 800,000 people. So it is in this kaleidoscope of cultures, languages, and tribes that Mr. Rodrigo Petrella has delved in. Since 1999, he has been not only visiting a great number of these tribes, but he has also been living with them and capturing, through photography, their day-to-day -day activities. I'm uh, Rodrigo Petrella, and I'd like uh, to thank the university and all the people for this beautiful and amazing exhibition that I have done together with the Kayapo indigenous that stays in Sound of Pará. It's a work that we have done together uh, that took us kind of two to three years. What's absolutely amazing about uh, Rodrigo Petrella's exhibition here at the UJ Art Gallery is the connection between cultures, between societies. It's important as UJ Arts and Culture for us to Im impart the connection of art. Although Rodrigo speaks of a clan, and a tribe from a country and a place on the other side of the world. We in South Africa have cultures, we have clans, and the similarities are all there. And the connecting fibers is what makes the art connect for us. His works have been exhibited in museums such as the Smithsonian Museum in New York, the Imperial Museum in Beijing, and in countries such as Spain, Russia, Paraguay, to name a few. To anyone that might come here and, and be able to see the exhibition, uh, it, would, it would be great that people might acknowledge that it was them who decided to present in this way. It was, it was a narrative that was built together where they reached the agreement among them they would like to present it in this way, so as an image of themselves. So we're so happy to have Rodrigo here and we hope that we continue our partnership with Brazil as well as Rodrigo into the future. The exhibition is the first of the 2019 exhibitions in the space, which is part of our uh, program which is called hashtag follow your heart heart with a capital A-R-T um, and uh, this is the uh, UJ Art Gallery's leg of uh, 
this uh, program, which then will roll out across uh, the art centre in general. Thank you.